recent drought in the Kruger National Park was the worst in nearly three decades, according to Sand Parks Management. In December, the park still looked like a desert, they say. We recorded very high temperatures in the park. We recorded very low rainfall. For example, in Skakuza, it was the first time that we've ever recorded less than 200 millimeters of rain in a year. We measured uh, 39 days above 40 degrees centigrade. So it was a very severe drought. The heavy rains finally came in December. Now the face of the Kruger has changed again. The drought in the Kruger in terms of rainfall is over. So we've got an average to above average rainfall in the last three months. And so the felt has responded in that way. In terms of forage quality, so food quality for animals to eat, even though things look very green, if we actually drill down to ground level, we'll actually find that there's a lot of forbs, there's a lot of herbaceous material, which is generally not very palatable. It's not very yummy for animals to eat this material, so they tend to avoid it. During the drought, there was a serious decrease in forage availability. So a large number of animals starved to death because there wasn't enough food. Around 3,000 hippos are believed to have perished in the dry season. We had a lot of animals die because there wasn't enough food for them, especially the water-dependent species, the ones that live close to the river that can't make long excursions outside to get the f to the food source. Buffalo died. Um, we had a lot of we had a lot of hippos dying. We had a lot of uh, rhinos losing condition, and so with this rainfall that's come, suddenly there's been a response in the fowls. There's now food available. Those animals are put on condition, and the animal mortalities have definitely come down. The savannah. This beautiful landscape that we see out here in Kruger is like a symphony. And the drought and the fires and the elephants and rainfall, it's all instruments that is creating this, this beautiful symphony. These are evolving landscapes and dynamic landscape that change because of droughts, because of floods, because of fires, etc. The experts say while the Kruger National Park is green again and the animals are no longer dying of thirst or hunger, the legacy effects of the drought are likely to be felt for years to come. Renadal Kam, CGTN in the Kruger National Park.